Yep, it was a good job, ladies and gentlemen, kings, queens. How y'all doing? How y'all feeling today? We got NBA Young Boy smiles before waving right. It's a preliminary hearing and prescription fraud case. Man, come on, bruh. Oh, now it's the rest of the gun. <clears throat> Shit, I made no sense. Shit. Hey, man. Let's get smooth to it, bro. Get out my ear, sir. I hear you, bro. Your your breath's hot. Look at this. <laughs> what the fuck is he looking at? What the fuck is he looking at right now? Was he looking across the other dude? Like, what the fuck? All right. All right. The first district of the state of Utah and for the county of Cash is now in session. The Honorable Judge Spencer D. Walt is presiding. You may be seated. Glazing. All right, good morning. I hate this audio. It's case nasty of audio. Utah versus Contrell Deshaun Galden. All my right ear. Case 24110468. Counsel, please state your names for the record. Counsel. Aaron Jossi for the state. Drew Finland on and Zach Finland on behalf of Mr. Galden. Damn. All right. We're here today for a preliminary hearing and a bail hearing. I've had the opportunity to meet with the attorneys in chambers and it does appear that there has been some type of an arrangement reached between the parties. Mr. Finling, would you like to go ahead and state that for the record, please? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, Your Honor, uh, yeah. counsel for, for the state uh, and myself have been um, in negotiation um, really since yesterday, but throughout this morning, um, and I've explained those negotiations to Mr. Golden. Um, we are going to waive a preliminary hearing in this matter. In exchange for that, we a bond will be set at $100,000. Mr. Baldwin will be able to use a commercial Slank. company to, to make that bond. For that that will be an aggregate bond covering everything in total um, as contained in the charging instrument. All right. Thank you, Mr. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Keller, does that accurately out? represent the agreement that's been reached between the state and Mr. Golden? Yes, it does, Your Honor. All right. Mr. Golden, have you had enough time to speak to your attorneys about this decision to waive your right to your preliminary hearing? Yes. All right. Do you understand <laughs> that the standard at a preliminary hearing is a much lower burden of proof that the government would have to meet than at trial? So instead of proof beyond a reasonable doubt, it's a lower burden of proof, which is, is there a reasonable belief that a crime was committed by you and the court has to view all the evidence that it would receive in a light most favorable to the government, to the prosecution. Understanding that legal standard and having had discussions with your attorneys, do you hereby waive your right to your preliminary hearing? Thanks, sir. Yes. All right. The court finds that Mr. Galden has knowingly and voluntarily waived his right to his preliminary hearing. He will be bound over for trial on all the charges set forth in the information, the charging document in this case. Bail will be set through stipulation of the parties at $100,000. That will be bondable. And in talking to the attorneys, it sounds like they would like to set this out for an arraignment at a later point in time. All right, Mr. Finley, would you like to go ahead and articulate uh, anything specific related all to that? Uh, <clears throat> yes, Your Honor, as discussed in, in chambers. Um, even, and I explained to uh, Mr. Golden, even if it's set up for arraignment, say, in 60 days, um, the court has made it clear through discussion with counsel, if we're, there is a resolution well before then, we're welcome to come back before Your Honor at any point in the future. Okay, very good. So we'll set uh, Mr. Golden's arraignment out in about 60 days. That arraignment would take place uh, through WebEx. We'll have Mr. Golden brought here to the courthouse, and then if Mr. Finling um, would like to appear remotely for that hearing, he may do so. Uh, also, if the attorneys reach some sort of resolution prior to those 60 days expiring, then just reach out to Angie, and we'll get that on my calendar in a timely fashion. 
Angie, a, a date about 60 days out for that arraignment on a Monday morning probably. First. July 1st, at what time? Nine? Mom, 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 mom. Okay, so Duke's that would birthday. be July 1st at 9 a.m. or 1.30 p.m. Mountain Time, whatever you'd prefer. Either one. Damn. Okay, let's do 9 a.m. Does that work for the state? It does, yes. All right, Mr. Galden, your arraignment will be July 1st, 9 a.m. You'll be brought over from the Cache County Jail, assuming that that uh, you're still incarcerated. If not, you'd be able to appear remotely for that hearing as well, or appear in person, whatever your preference would be. Is there anything else that needs to be stated on the record here today, Council? On behalf of Mr. Gall. No. Further from the state. All right, with that, uh, we'll conclude this hearing. Court is adjourned. Amen. Amen. A couple months. Amen. Good luck, buddy. Safety. Damn, bro. Damn, damn, damn. Ain't it crazy to just see all these 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 big artists uh, fighting legal troubles and shit? I mean, niggas is human at the end of the day, but when you, when you see niggas that's, you know what I'm saying, up there, it's like... Damn, you would think a nigga would stay the fuck out of trouble. Shit. I, mean, I know shit happens, but some of the shit these niggas be ending up in be avoidable as a mug. But, hey man. This is what it is, bro. You know what I'm saying? Hey, bro. <laughs> I ain't got shit to say. <laughs> Appreciate y'all for tuning in. Link's in the description. Get in tune. Yeah, I'll take it easy. Be safe, man. Good, 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 good. Good, good.